Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a traditional curry from the Punjab region called Sarsal Kasag, also known as Lassi Kasag. Check out the description box below for the full measurements and ingredient list. Begin by melting the ghee or butter into a pan and then adding the crushed cumin seeds. You want to give this a good mix and just temper for a few minutes over a medium heat to enhance the flavour. And then you want to add in the tin of sarsal kasag. You can also use fresh by boiling mustard and spinach leaves yourself. Just give this a good mix and then just warm through on a medium heat for a few minutes. And then you want to add in the salt and chilli powder. You want to then give this a good mix. If you're using tinned, you don't really need to add much salt and chilli powder, but if you're making it fresh yourself, you can add more and adjust to your taste. You then want to place the yogurt into a bowl and then add in the ground flour. And using the spoon, give this a really good mix and break down any lumps. So once you've given it a really good mix, it should be like a smooth, thick paste. You then want to leave this aside and then return back to the sag and over a low heat just cook it for a few minutes and then you want to add in the yoghurt mixture and then you want to quickly give this a really good mix continuously until all the yoghurt has been mixed in really well with the sag. This will ensure that the yoghurt does not split. I'm then going to add in one chopped green chilli. This is just for extra spice, you can skip this step. And then I'm just going to continue to cook this mixture over a low to medium heat until all the ghee has appeared at the top. So after about five minutes, the sag will look less pale as the yogurt cooks and you'll begin to see that the ghee starts to appear. And about after 15 minutes, it should look like this where you can see a lot more of the ghee at the top. You then want to add in the boiled water. Now, how much water you add just depends on the consistency you like. I've added about 500 milliliters and then given it a good mix and then added in another 250 mils. Once you've added the water, you want to keep it on a high heat for about 10 minutes and then you want to lower the heat and allow it to simmer until your desired consistency. So I've left it on the heat for about 20 to 25 minutes and I'm just checking the consistency and then turning off the heat. If you like this recipe make sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me over my official Instagram page Fruititives. The link is in the description box below where I upload all my written recipes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.